farmer. The farmer was coming to the end of his days. He had two sons and a daughter, and he wanted to know who the farm should go to. Who would inherit? Normally it would be the oldest son, but he wanted it to be someone that would take care of the place. And so, lying in his bed, he called his children in and he gave them a test. Pointed to the table next to him and said, there are three piles and each pile are five pennies. Five pennies. This is from England. Which five pennies were not a whole lot, but still. He said, whoever can best fill up a room with using just the money from these five pennies will inherit the farm. And the eldest son said, I can do this, Dad. He took his five pennies. The second eldest son, I can do this. And then the daughter came up, I can do this. Now five pennies was a little bit of money, but a room is a big thing to try to fill up. At first, yeah, the oldest son was thinking, okay, I can buy maybe some grain. Well, five pennies might cover the floor, but it's sure not going to fill up a room. And he searched, and he searched, and he searched, and finally thought, I'll just buy whatever I can to fill up the room. And he found the least expensive, spoiled type grain that he could. It was like 10, 12, maybe even 14 bushels, had it brought in, and he got the room up to about knee high. Called his dad, his siblings, in and said, Look. And the father looked at him and said, Well, there's something in here, but it's not filled up. So after they removed all the grain, the second son said, I've got it. He went out and bought feathers. Feathers from chicken farms. Feathers, you know, you know the least expensive bags and bags of feathers because they're all fluffed up. And he emptied the feathers into the room. And at first it looked like he was going to fill it, but then they kind of settled and settled. And they were about head high. He called his father and his siblings in. I said, well, you did better than your brother, but you still didn't fill the room. So after they removed all the feathers, it was the daughter's turn. And she had thought and thought and thought, what could she get for five pennies that would fill the room? And she reached over and she had took out a small box. What she had bought with her five pennies. And in that box were five candles. And she placed them all around the room and lit all five candles. And the room was filled with light. her father and her brothers in. And her father looked at it and said, Wow. You have filled the room. Not with just something, but with light. You will inherit the farm. And so she did. And that's the story of the five pennies.